Hi, Arjan here from Redfin. What if? What if is always a nice question. It gives you a little bit of dreaming if, you, if you're not careful. But what if you could increase your revenues, your, your return on investment in the pork business? And if you could do that without major investments, what if you could make better use of your genetic potential just by changing the way you work a little bit? What if you could weigh piglets in almost no time? Plenty of things. Let me explain you a little bit how we how we think that can be done. Let's go to the basics of pork production. In fact, you have genetics and then you add a little bit of feed or a lot of feed actually. And if you do that well, you get an excellent uh, uh, pork production. That's the basics of, of pork. It's a bit more complicated in a barn, I know, but that's the basics. So let's look at that a little bit more in depth. So you have to feed, that's about 60 to 70% of your cost. And then you have a certain amount of fixed cost. Well, the word says it already, fixed cost. So we'll not go into that more. We'll look at management, because there you can change a lot of things if you want to, but you need the tools to do that. But suppose you have that tools, then you could increase your revenues. So what are, what are those tools? As you all know, the, the sow is the start of the production of pork. We quite often say the sow is the machine that produces the pork. So the better you fine tune that machine, the better you know how to run that machine, the better you're able to produce pork. And that machine runs on feed and that feed is needed for maintenance, growth, the offspring, milk, and a little bit that left the, anim uh, the animal by, by feces and, and urine. So how do we know now that the sow is in the right condition? Nowadays, genetic companies say weigh them. Backfed meeting is a measurement is more and more departed. It goes more and more to, to weighing, and that's quite simple to do on the farm. So if we fine tune that machine the right way, we get better offspring. So now we know how to how to calibrate that sow. But as you all know, sows cost money. They they eat feed and they take up space in the barn. Once you start selling the offspring, then you make money. But the sow itself costs money. Now once you got that offspring then at weaning you select them based on size and estimated weight that's the only thing to go by but you also know that after one or two weeks those selected groups start to differentiate again that's that is because the pigs aren't the same they have to they have at a certain point they have to set the same weight and almost the same size but they have different growth rates that's based on in one farrowing batch there can be up to five days difference in age and there is a huge amount in the amount of colostrum and milk that the, that the piglet takes from the sow. So that gives you a, quite a bit of difference in growth rate. Now, what, what do we usually do? Uh, we, we put those pigs together that aren't the same. So actually we do a one size fits all in a, in a situation that, that you cannot do. It's a one size does not fit all. Now, how do we solve that? If you have electronic identification, you can select them on growth rate. Here you see a chart where we did that, and there's quite a bit of difference in growth. At the bottom, you see one with 60 gram growth per day, and at, there it is. And at the top, you see one of 350 grams growth per day. There it is. And that's all from one farrowing batch. Now, if you then take into account that genetics say it needs to be around 275 grams, then you can see in one blink of an eye that quite a bit of pigs don't get to that level. So there's a lot of management to do to get them in a higher range. But then first you need to know the growth rate. So what we do is that we say, okay, we take at weaning, we take a second weight, we calculate the, at the same time the growth rate and then put them into different groups. And those groups range from red to green. Red is then the slowest grower and green is the highest grower. How we do that, we show you in a different video. So now you're able to, to manage your sow based on weight and to manage your offspring based on growth. So now we can improve the offspring and the offspring gives you more information about the sow and so forth and so forth. You get an ever increasing cycle of, of better production. And if we manage that right, we get very uniform groups and uniform groups have the advantage that you can predict when you can deliver them. So you can always deliver them on time, every time, no matter if you sell wieners or finishers. And you can calculate yourself how much that can increase your revenues. You know much better how to produce your pork. Okay, there was one thing that I didn't answer. 
how, how long does it take to collect all that information? Well, weighing pigs in this system takes you about 30 seconds. Actually, it's two times 15. One times 15 seconds around birth and one times 15 seconds per pig at weaning. That's all. Then you have all the information. After that, no more manual weighing anymore. If you want to know more, get in touch with us and we'll explain how you can run this system yourself. Talk to you later.